hello guys welcome again in this video we are going to learn the most useful and very good feature that is introduced in year 7 is called for await so how we can make a for loop as a asynchronous for loop that is the concept of for await we have a array here and normally if i want to display the value of array so i use for loop here and uh, in this for loop i say values and of fruit like this and i just display these values here in console and i say values so one by one the value will print you see banana apple grapes and you see uh, if i make this like this i say console dot log and i say before for loop like this and i say for loop here i cut it and i just use for loop here and i say console dot log and i say after for loop if I run this and it will run synchronously without any doubt we have this line before the for loop and this line after the for loop and remember that I am just going to put this code within a function I say function and I say display fruits like this and in this function I just use this for loop. like this way I save it and I call this function here display fruits like this and I run it so I have same kind of response before loop and after loop no doubt but now you see if I put here for await so I put here await keyword and I try to run it will generate first error because we can't use await without the async so here I have to make this function as a asynchronous function asynchronous function so I make this asynchronous and I use for await await keyword I use here and now you see the magic if I try to run you see before for loop then after for loop and then we have the value of 4 that means this for loop become the asynchronous for loop so it is not stopping the execution of this line but basically if i remove here the await keyword and i remove the async keyword and you see that normally we have before for loop and after for loop but if i add here async means i create this as a asynchronous one function and I use here the await keyword I make this for loop as a for await and now I try to run it you see that we have achieved the asynchronous for loop so sometime we require the asynchronous for loop and we are doing some download or upload on the server on cloud with the help of for loop so we can't stop the execution of our application or website we can go ahead so here you see that we call this function here this function is a asynchronous function and this is using a for loop that has become the asynchronous also so it's not stopping the execution of next line this line so this line easily printed and then the for loop is also executed so this is the way to make a asynchronous for or we can say for await so if you want to understand the concept of synchronous and asynchronous programming and if you want to learn the concept of async and await keyword i have a previous video also kindly watch these videos also to understand this concept clearly that's all in this video thank you to watch my video